Hey there everybody and welcome back to WandaVision Spoiler Talk. If you're here, you've likely just finished watching episode 6 of WandaVision and it was a pretty good episode. I personally didn't think it was as big or, or as great as episode 5, but still a good episode nonetheless. Now what most of us were super excited to see in this episode is where they were going to take that cliffhanger bombshell ending of episode 5, what they were going to do with it. And I'm, of course, talking about Pietro showing up at Wanda's door, totally shocking her, shocking me, shocking everybody watching it, because it was not the Pietro from the MCU. It is not the Pietro that Wanda knew. It is not the Pietro who was killed in Age of Ultron. Instead, it was Evan Peters, who played Pietro Quicksilver in the X-Men film franchise, who was a mutant. So this opened a lot of questions. A lot of us were thinking this has to be the multiverse, which would make sense anyways, because WandaVision is supposed to lead into Doctor Strange 2 in the Multiverse of Madness, and also uh, Spider-Man 3. So it would make sense that the multiverse was gonna come up. But some of us were thinking, this isn't that version from X-Men, this is just uh, a different version of Pietro in this weird mystical world that Wanda has created. And just as a gag, they cast Evan Peters as a fun little nod that this is somebody who also played the same character in another universe. I don't think it's that. I do think that this has to do with the multiverse, but this episode really muddled the waters on that one. It raised more questions than it did answers. So there was the moment when Wanda sees Pietro riddled with bullets and dead. Because of course, Evan Peters' version of Pietro was not shot dead, so she is seeing this death as the version of her brother that she knows. That of course could just be because the universes are merging. Uh, that could just be because she's distraught in her head. There are other ways to explain that. But I just wanna start off by saying, Evan Peters fits into this show perfectly. Like this episode, we're on the 90s for the classic sitcoms uh, living inside Westview where Wanda is. It's a 90s that has a really kind of Malcolm in the middle type of vibe. It's a lot of fun, especially for people who grew up in the 90s like I did. Like I watched all the classic sitcoms on Nick at Night. I watched, you know, Bewitched and I Love Lucy. So I loved those early episodes too, those black and white uh, 1950s and 60s episodes. But I grew up in the 90s. So this is legit the TV that I grew up on and it really was uh, it brought back some nostalgia it made me reminisce on my youth and and I really enjoyed it and Pietro fit in perfectly with this family and with that vibe this is a Halloween episode and all of the characters are dressed up in costume as fun little nods to their original comic book versions. Everybody looks like they did in the comic books which is a super fun little nod and this show is really good at those but I think the highlight of this episode, the, the main point of this episode, is Vision continuing his quest to find out what is going on. Of course, in the last episode, he questioned Wanda directly, saying that he wanted answers. He knew something was not right. He couldn't remember his past, uh, and things just did not seem like they were supposed to, and he's really catching on to it. So that continues here, and he sets out on his own quest to find those answers, and he comes to the end of the hex. He finds the wall and decides he's gonna push through it. And I was wondering what is going to happen when he comes through. My, my bet was that I was thinking he's gonna walk through the wall and then instantly just kind of collapse and die because he is technically dead and he can't survive outside of that wall of Wanda's magic. Um, I was close, not exactly. He walks out, he cannot survive out there. He starts falling apart, breaking apart, and the pieces of him are being pulled back in. He's begging for help, saying that the people inside the hex need help, and that he's hurting, he's in danger. Now, Wanda becomes aware of this, and her instant reaction is freezes everybody in the town, stops her fake little world, and then immediately starts to expand the dome, expand the hex, widening it to get her husband, to get Vision back in there where she wants him. And in doing so, she brings in the entire sword and FBI headquarters outside. It instantly transforms into a circus and all of the agents transform into clowns, which is a fun little nod that that's how Wanda sees them, that they are just a circus and a bunch of clowns out there not knowing what they're up against. So they all transform into clowns 
And poor Kat Dennings Darcy is handcuffed to a vehicle, unable to escape, and she gets sucked into the hex. Now, we don't see what she transforms to inside the hex. So we're unsure of what her involvement is going to be in the next episode, but she will most likely be in there completely uh, directly interacting with Wanda and Vision, and I'm really excited to see where that goes. We got to see Jimmy Woo and Monica Rambo go hands-on, beat up some FBI agents, and then sneak their way back onto the base that they had been kicked out of. And there was more talk of Rambo's connection to this scientist on the outside. That's where they were going to meet up with this person at the end of this episode, and it ends before we get there. So there's a bigger lead-up to who this scientist, who this engineer is going to be. And most people online are thinking that it's going to be Reed Richards, that this is going to be where we get the Fantastic Four, and that that big cameo that Elizabeth Olsen had mentioned in an interview is not going to be Evan Peters. Instead, it's going to be Reed Richards, whoever has been cast to play him, all right? And we are super excited to find out. So I think the next episode, episode seven, is going to be a huge one right? Especially it's going to be in the final three episodes. There's only nine episodes here, so we are nearing the end. We are nearing some big stuff. I just watched this. It was super early in the morning here for me, so there's stuff I might have missed. Let me know in the comments if I missed any of these small little details, if I missed anything important, if there's anything we should be talking about. I want to talk about it. Let me know in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys next week.